water registration exercise has not been entirely peaceful. There's been a number of violence, killings, and disruptions. In, in fact, in the Banda constituency of the Bono region, they actually saw a case of one person losing his life as a result of a violence at the center. In the Sawasi constituency as well, there was another disruption. And now in Kaswa, there's also another violence and gun shooting just to register. The Electoral Commission of Ghana has come out to condemn the act and they're asking the police force to investigate the matter and bring the perpetrators to book. But considering that this is just a mere registration exercise, people are raising concerns about their safety, especially because the 2020 December polls is drawing nearer. In general, the air course work room, no. There's nothing like peace in Ghana. Because uh, common registration, Mpona, or Mutu to India. There's no peace. What do you think the EC should do about it? No, already uh, left it uh, about two weeks to finish. So they should go ahead and do everything. Now we are talking about election, going to 2020 polls. The election, first of all, the, what do you call it? Why is the peace council? What are they doing? What are the chiefs? Those who can talk, I'm going to be a I'm a penny for now, save your own ways, I didn't know, but I'm a former day. I'm a former day. Because they say, you miss here, me can't. Why never tell me? That's one thing. And Tim Penny for now, those days, no, Mukasa, I'm a crew higher dinner. They say, no more. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. They should cancel them. They should call them to order. I believe for the past decades, we've seen um, such situation in our electoral system. I believe with this year, it has been reduced. We can't say it's excellence. So we see a reduction in violence. We don't say it's actually done with. So it's an improvement of previous exercise. This um, violence, this issue of violence, it's normal with our electoral system. You know, Ghanaians have come to accept the fact that we normally see this in this exercise. So we hope to see much improvement in the December 7th election. That's what we can see. For now, what should the EC or the security forces do? I believe they are, they are at work, they are doing their work. Um, we can't say because we've recorded some cases and some places, we term it as a general for the nation. So some people are experiencing such calmness somewhere. So we can use that as a final conclusion for the whole country. It's not new since those things were there before. Uh, for now we can do the election. Election can come on 2020. This election can come on. But you think we are safe in the country? Yeah. For now is there. These problems used to happen in it, yes, we are doing those things. It happens. Yesterday, a colleague friend of mine and my sister went um, to Yanyanu to do their voters' ID. It was so unfortunate they left as early as 7 o'clock a.m. and came back around 4. Yeah, now you get to um, the centers and you find out that people come and they use protocol and they are being registered. And uh, when we should talk about the violence, you find out that. The, um, the security system there are very loose. Yeah. So if this is a, is an issue, the nation is a threat because we've not got into election, and you see um, people claiming to be um, superior when it comes to political parties. They come and um, bring a whole lot of disturbances. So the country as of now is not safe. Yeah. Because if 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 some of these things are still happening, then we should come to the electoral period. We find out that. Um, there are more chaoses to come. I think we are safe because um, when we go to the registration center, we have uh, the police. They are available over there. If you have any issues, you need to direct them to the police. Or if you have any issues, you can go to the EC themselves and then they will sort things out. I think the issue with the Kaswa um, violence was they were saying some foreigners were registering. And I think as Ghanaians, we need to, we need to, uh, we need to cater for each other. In a sense that if you know somebody is a foreigner, why should you allow that person register in the first place? And we Ghanaians need to look out for each other. Why should foreigners come into our country and they take to us? No, it shouldn't be so. So I think we Ghanaians, we need to look out for each other and then speak for each other. 
if you have any issues, just go to the uh, security personnel and then they'll help you out. I think we are safe. But in this case, uh, for instance, the, the, the EC officials had to run away. Because and then guns were shot. It's because of the, uh, the violent that's attack. That's why they had to run for their dear lives. In Ghana here, <laughs> when it comes to security, um, we are all scared because the police, you know, quote unquote, our policemen are not up to the tax. They don't have even firearms. When it comes to uh, this, they use this AK rifle. No. In, in 21st century, we need, we need the, the, the shotguns. Yes, so that if anything happens, they can just give firing shots or something so that people can run for their dear lives.